ignore the dot until all four feet are on the ground. The problem is, there should have been a two minute disassociation between jumping up and giving the dog attention. So if the dog's jumping up, and now it's down all four feet on the ground, you say, right, that's about the good boy. He's still got attention for jumping up. It's still a connection, especially if you do it multiple times. So it should be, his feet should be on the ground for two minutes before you give him attention. But the problem is the word ignore. So the owner comes in, they're told to ignore the dog once. So they come in, the dog's jumping all over them. That's not ignoring the dog, that's giving it 100% attention. So I'll tell you what will work. This isn't the only thing that will work, but there's lots of strategies. But I'll tell you what will work. You put a notice on the door to all of your family and everyone who comes in, so because you want everyone to be consistent when they come through the door. And this is what the little note says, so everyone has to do it. When you enter through this door, walk straight to the nearest window and describe everything out loud that you can see out that window. So here it would be, um, actually it's a really blue sky again. There's one or two little fluffy clouds. I think the weather actually, especially for this time of year, is pretty good. There is a building there. Um, that I can see, I can't make out. Two minutes, you've got to describe out loud everything that you see out that window. When you've done it for two minutes, just turn around, greet the dog like this, oh, hello, and then carry on with what you're doing. Within three days, all the jumping off will start. Actually, first time you do it, you'll catch the dog by surprise. You'll go, mm -hmm. what are you looking at? <laughs> by change, see, if you're describing out loud everything you see, you can't be giving the dog any attention. So you are effectively ignoring the dog. And because I've so dramatically changed your entry to the house behavior, the dog will fairly dramatically change its own behavior. If you, next time you get a puppy, if you don't ever want it to jump up at people, make sure that everyone, including yourself, when they greet the puppy when they come in the house, has their best clothes on and dip the puppy's front feet in a bowl of mud. <laughs> They've never learned to jump up yet.